Today the weather is really unpredictable. One moment it's sunny and then in the next uh, five minutes it starts to rain. So I think I will better use the time if I organize a bit the tours. And I also want to make a list of uh, all the tools that I need when I go to work at the log house. Because it happened uh, a few times that I forgot something. And usually it's something uh, small like a pencil or uh, the breathing mask or something like that. Because the chainsaw and the generator is pretty obvious if I have it or if I don't have it. But the smaller things... And even if I forget uh, just a pencil, it's uh, quite important and uh, if I do it with something else, the work is not done so good and I'm also just losing the time. At the beginning when I started with the peeling of the logs and cutting down the trees, pretty much all I needed was the chainsaw, draw knife, uh, pulley and uh, camera and filming equipment. Right now I need a lot of tools and I have to load everything in the morning on the tractor trailer and then I take them with me and when I finish I bring them, I bring them uh, back home. I don't want to leave them uh, there over the night to maybe get stolen or uh, catch the rain or humidity. So I think it would be a good idea to make a list of all the tools and in the morning before I leave to go through the list and uh, check if I have everything. And I think at the same time as I'm making the list maybe I will uh, explain which tools I'm using or why I decided for a certain tool or I don't know. The first and I think the most important tool throughout uh, all this build is the chainsaw. And I bought it uh, a month or two after I began with this project and so far I'm really happy with how it's working and the uh, 50 cm uh, blade is uh, perfect for everything that I have to do now also for cutting down the trees and now for the saddle notch and the rest of the things is I don't know it's working really good and I didn't have any problems with it so far and right now I'm also taking with me the extra chain so if I touch a rock or a, a nail or something when I'm working then I just simply change the chain and when I come back home I sharpen it that way it's much faster and I don't lose so much time and of course the key for the chain so this key is something that a lot of times I forgot and then if something goes wrong even if I have the extra chain or if the chain gets loose without the key, I cannot do anything. And at the moment I'm also using a lot the angle grinder for sanding the saddles and I do the final pass on the long groove with the grinder because that way with the angle grinder it's really easy and accurate to go close to the scribe line. With the chainsaw I usually leave a few millimeters and then I pass with the angle grinder to get really perfectly on the line. And I have three different grinding sets. Usually I first pass the saddle with this more rough grain and this blade is actually for sanding the metal but it's also working just fine with the wood and with what I need to do. And then I pass it with this more fine paper and also what I like about it that when I sand it, I sand it with the whole surface and uh, any imperfections or bumps that this leaves. I correct it with this uh, second pass with this more fine paper. And then just a few weeks ago, I bought this uh, carving blade and I was thinking to do the final pass on the saddle notch to make it smoother and go uh, closer to the line. But I don't know, in the last few days, I got a better handle on the chainsaw and I started to understand how to move uh, the chainsaw to get a really smooth surface so I'm not really sure if this is uh, faster and more efficient than uh, just with the chainsaw because another thing is that if I'm using the grinder I have to use also the generator to power the grinder so and that way I use uh, even more gas than using just the chainsaw 
but I'm pretty sure that this was a good investment. I will need it for other projects and I'm always creating something and this will come uh, handy. This drill I think is the best drill I ever bought. I bought it when I was uh, working on the tree house and I needed uh, I, and I really needed the biggest drill that I could get. It's 40 centimeters in length and 3 centimeters in diameter and it goes through the wood like it's uh, absolutely nothing. And I'm using it right, right now, I'm using it to drill the holes through the logs so later I will put the threaded rod through all the logs and uh, I will be able to tight a bit the walls. And the gloves is something that uh, I don't enjoy working with. Usually I have them if I'm doing something that would uh, damage my hands or with the uh, or with the stone wool or something like that. But most of the time I prefer working without the gloves and to really feel the things and uh, I don't know, I just like the feeling of touching the things uh, directly with my hand. And the chisels is something that I bought recently. I think I never used them before this project, but I quite enjoy working with them. I really like uh, passing the saddle notch scribe line with the chisels before I cut with the chainsaw. It's probably possible to do it also without it, but this way you get a really nice line and you don't have to pass with the chainsaw again close to the line. It seems that you lose a lot of time uh, passing the line with the chisels but uh, you don't have to pass it later with the chainsaw and you also avoid the risk of uh, cutting uh, over the line or something like that. And yeah, I've seen some comments that <laughs> I should get the uh, wooden or uh, plastic uh, mallet. But right now all I have is this one and I don't want to spend uh, extra money. And also the chisels have the protection here so I think they will be just fine. For now it compressed until this uh, metal part and, and I think from here on it won't get uh, destroyed. The measuring tapes are nothing special. I just have the 3 meter and uh, 30 meter logging measuring tape. If I'm measuring just some uh, smaller distances I prefer using this one because it's uh, lighter and it's easier to have it in the pocket. The chart line is uh, actually something uh, quite important for, for the style of log cabin that I'm building. I'm using it to do the plumb line across the top of the log and then I use that line for placing the log uh, on the wall and uh, for dividing uh, the saddles and there's a few things that the shark line is important. And now I'm using the breathing mask and the glasses when I'm grinding because the grinder creates a really fine dust. It's not like with the chainsaw and that thing uh, gets uh, into your lungs and, uh, and it's pretty sure not good for the health. Also when I'm working it's all the time a bit of uh, wind so without the glasses everything gets into my eyes and uh, it's pretty much impossible to work. And then I have these two different uh, guns for the air compressor and I mean I use this one uh, just to clean the dust before I do the final scribe that way I see better the lines and also for uh, cleaning the dust before I put the ceiling gasket in the long groove but still I have to pass the ceiling gasket with this uh, stapler and I put the clip or I don't know exactly the name of this thing every 10-15 centimeters so that later on when I put the log in place if uh, the other log will push against the ceiling gasket because I tested and just with the glue it's not strong enough and uh, it goes uh, away from the wood. Hopefully this way it will stay in place uh, later when the logs will compress together. The ceiling gasket is pretty much the same thing that is used uh, around the doors or around the windows is nothing really special for the log cabin or something like that. And I just bought this new X. I wanted something to be uh, light and a bit smaller because I'm using the X just to knock out the slices that I cut into the saddle notch 
and the other eggs that I have is uh, a lot bigger and it's uh, just too much to carry around. Then the helmet, something that uh, before this project I was never using and now I can't even imagine working uh, without it. Also the ear mufflers and uh, eye protection is uh, so important. And in the long grooves I am putting the stone wool. At the beginning I was planning to use the sheep wool because it's more uh, natural but uh, at the moment I cannot afford it so I think the stone wool will be just as good. Right now I only have this extension cable that is around uh, 15 meters long but I would like to have a cable that is around uh, 100 meters because that way I can uh, put the generator further away from where I'm building and uh, I don't have to listen to all that noise and also for the filming I think it's a bit uh, distracting when you hear the generator all the time in the background I don't know, let me know if it's bothering uh, when you hear the generator in the background of some of the shots and other than that uh, oh yeah I forgot the peewee for uh, turning and for moving the logs also something that makes the work easier it's possible to work without it I've been working without the peewee until uh, a few months ago and I was able to do everything the, the only problem is that you are destroying more your back and here I forgot the most important thing which is the camera and the filming equipment and it happens quite a few times that I forget all the batteries or the SD card or the external microphone there's a lot of stuff that I have to think about and go through in the morning before I leave and go to the log house it usually takes me around an hour to prepare everything and the worst is if I come there and then I realize that I forgot the SD card or the battery I don't know, just anything, it can be something really small but uh, just as important as a chainsaw or something bigger. This part of uh, taking the tools there and back and all the preparation and thinking is something that uh, takes uh, quite some time. If I would be able to just wake up and work it would be completely another thing but, uh, but uh, in a way I like it because I know if I go there, I have to use all the time for the work uh, as efficiently as possible. I uh, don't like uh, going there and then just uh, staring around or losing time. Uh, I never spend any time on the phone. That's why I also have an old phone without the internet and without all the Facebook and all that stuff. So, so when I'm there I'm completely focused on the work and I don't lose time with other stuff. Also, also the days are getting longer and longer so I'm able to get a lot of things done in a day. I'm trying to figure out uh, which way to rotate this log. It has a lot of bumps and a curve that goes into more than just one direction and I'm really not sure which way to face it. I need the flattest sides on the top and the bottom so that I don't have to cut the long groove too deep and uh, throw away too much of the log. But if the bumps or the curves go up or down, that way you have to cut the long groove or the notch along the length of the log really deep and you throw away a lot of the wood and log so this log has the most uh, curve or imperfections of all the logs that I used so far others were uh, I mean not really perfect each log has a bit of curve or bumps 
even if on the camera they look uh, really perfect, none of the logs is perfectly straight. Each has a, or a curve in one side or a bump here or there. So I always have to look how I face them. But this one is particularly really bumpy. But in the end, I think logs like this we really give a lot of uh, character and soul to the house. Today I already started with the fourth row of the wall logs and I'm really happy with the progress that I've done over the last uh, two weeks of which I worked uh, a good week. First, already three weeks ago, something fell on my toe and I crushed one of my fingers pretty bad. So that slowed me down for a week and I still feel it. I'm waiting for the nail to fall off. And it's quite annoying, but when I work, I forget about it. And after that, last week I had a teeth surgery. So I was in a hospital for four or five days. And I thought that I will need uh, at least another few days uh, to recover after I get home. But I went uh, straight to work the day after I came home. I was in a pain for the next uh, two, three days. But working uh, actually helped me to forget that pain. and. Uh, now it's all good, I'm back to normal. I feel even uh, better than before that I have this out of my way. Other than the weather being a, a bit uh, unpredictable and uh, one moment it's raining and the next is sunny. But that's how it is in uh, this time of the year here. Pretty much uh, every year it's like this. The April and May are usually very unpredictable. But I don't want to wait at home uh, if it's gonna rain or not. Every day I come here, I start working and then uh, if it starts raining, I wait for a few minutes and if it looks that it won't stop and it starts raining harder and harder, I, I end it for the day and there's a lot of other things that I have to do, so if it's raining, if it's sunny, it doesn't really change much. There's always something that I have to do, no matter what is the weather. And I've seen a few comments saying that the way that I cut the notches and I do the things, uh, it's really slow and will take forever. And probably most of the people wouldn't decide for this type of uh, notching or everything else that I'm doing. But that's exactly why I decided to do it this way. The moment that I started with this project, at the beginning from peeling the logs, cutting the trees down, taking them out of the forest, deciding to do pretty much all by myself and not taking the easiest routes, that's really what I want. I want this to be a really big uh, challenge for me. I don't want just to learn uh, how to work with wood, but I want uh, through this to learn about myself. I want to learn to be patient, to believe in myself and uh, what I'm doing. I also expect to fail along the way and learn from that. So this project for me is much more than just building a house. If I focus just on the final product and get in uh, as fast as possible to that, uh, I don't know, that for me is really a waste of uh, such an amazing uh, process and a journey that uh, building a house like this can be. 
and taking the time and making it something more than just the uh, actual build. For me, this is really a spiritual journey. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really something much deeper than just building a house. And I'm pretty sure that the right people understand what I'm talking about, or they went uh, through this, or they went through this themselves. As much as I would like to have the house finished, for me, each day is uh, something special. Each day is uh, something different. The weather is different. Uh, how I feel is different, uh, what I have to do. Everything is changing each day. I learn something new and I want to make the most of this uh, process. When I look back on the last uh, six or seven months since I began with this, when I started, I thought I knew a lot about myself, uh, about how to work with the wood. And uh, in this moment, I feel like back then I knew pretty much nothing. What I learned until now changed uh, so much my perspective on a lot of things. And I'm pretty sure by the time when I will finish the house, I will look back and I will think, uh, I, uh, I really knew nothing about uh, what I'm capable of, uh, how to work with a chainsaw and just, and the list goes on. And that's something that uh, unfortunately Nowadays, a lot of people I see ignoring when they do something. They, ju they just want that uh, final product as soon as possible. Uh, they are not uh, mindful about their actions on the way there. Or uh, So if I can open the eyes of another person to these things, like this journey is uh, doing to me, that is probably one of the greatest things that I can do in my life. I don't really care to promote through my videos the brands or uh, things like that. I'm getting contacted by a lot of brands if I want to promote, but but that's really not who I am. I want to stay true to myself, uh, true to my beliefs. I don't want to change for the money or for the fame or for any of it. I mean, I want to live a good life. I want to have the freedom, but I don't want uh, the money or any of these things to get in my head. I want to stay uh, as real as possible. I want to I wanna share exactly what I think and what I feel through my videos. And another very important thing to me is to not get attached to the material things. I don't want my happiness to depend on this house or material things because if I think, oh, I will build this house and then I will be happy or, or, I, will ha or uh, I will get uh, hundred thousand subscribers or a million views or so much money and then I will be happy. I'm pretty sure that that way I will never be happy because when I will get to that I will just want more and more and more and you never get to the finish if uh, that is your objective. I'm working on to be happy right now in this moment even if I have just one log, if I, even if I have just one log on the walls or two or three, if it's raining, if it's sun, uh, whatever, if I'm injured, uh, if I'm physically feeling fine and there's so much behind being mentally strong and patient and feeling uh, not really extremely happy but feeling, but feeling fine with where you're at. You don't have to feel extremely happy every day. So the more you keep consistent your work your emotions, uh, the harder will be that something pushes you out of your focus and out of your path and what you want to achieve. So thank you for your time, for watching my videos and commenting. It really means a lot to me.